Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video with Skillberry. In this video, we're going to discuss about closing your AWS account. Say you had created your AWS account and then you were working with AWS account and after some time you have stopped working over it or say your need of AWS is over and then you want to probably close the entire account. Remember, you had already given your credit card or debit card details along with your uh, AWS account creation. So if you leave your AWS account for a longer time and in case if you have mistakenly created some EC2 instances, left uh, some of the hard disk or disk space, EBS instances or S3 buckets, just like that, probably after 12 months of time, it would start charging you. So it is always better or safe to actually close your account if you have stopped using it or if you just attended a training and then you created an AWS account. Uh, if you have just created the AWS account to attend a training or for learning and then just leaving it there would actually harm you in future. So let's go ahead and then look at how to deactivate or close your AWS account. For that, let me first log into aws.amazon.com. Log into your account first. Let's sign in. To deactivate it, you have to do this from root account. So let me say, once you are onto your AWS console, right, you would see these options out here. Support, the instance where uh, you are currently logged in to the zone where you're currently logged in on and your account name. Click on your account name and click on my account. Once you are inside your account, scroll down to the end of the page. And this is where you will see or get an option to close your account, okay? So you can choose all that is necessary out here. You can go through the entire list. You can read through it. I understand that by clicking this checkbox, I'm closing my AWS account. The closure of my AWS account serves as notice to AWS that I wish to terminate AWS customer agreement or any other agreement with AWS that govern my AWS account solely with respect to that AWS account. Okay, so there are details that you can see. You can see if there is some usage that you have done and then you're supposed to make the payment. Okay, so and you also say that I acknowledge that I may reopen my AWS account only within 90 days of my account closure, the post closure period. If I re reopen my account during the post closure period, I may be charged for any AWS service that were not terminated before I closed my account. If I reopen, my AWS account, I agree that the same terms will govern my access to the to and use of AWS services through my reopened AWS account. So you have to be aware of this. Okay, so select all of them and go ahead and click on close account. It will ask you to confirm again. Are you sure you want to close it? Yes, click on close. It will take a while and it will give you a message stating that the account has been closed. That's about it. And once you come back, you want to probably want to access your details, right? It'll take you to billing management as in when you try to access it, right? So when you come down, you would see the same option. Let me log out from this account and try to show you as to how to re-log into your account, closed account. So sign into the console. When you try to log in again, it says authentication failed because your account has been suspended. So this is how you close your AWS account. I hope you like this video. If you want us to create more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel and comment on this video as to what more videos you would like to watch. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye. Log in now to access all the courses designed by the experts of Skillery. If you like this video, subscribe to Skillery YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. Thank you.